Yes, let's go to U.S. Congressman Max Thornberry of Texas. He's a member of the Armed Services Committee over in the House. Congressman, I want you to listen to something. This is an exchange between Petraeus, General Petraeus, who's up for field commander over there, with uh, Birch, with uh, not Birch, by Evan By, the senator from Indiana. I think it's fascinating because it gets to the question I've been getting to. Our real enemy in terms of 9-11 and avoiding a future 9-11 is al-Qaeda. How do we keep them out of Afghanistan, if that's our policy. Here's the, here's the back and forth. Can you give us your assessment about the likelihood if we were to withdraw from Afghanistan prematurely and the Afghans were not, did not have the capability of securing their territory, the likelihood that al-Qaeda would reestablish itself in that place? I think there's a, a high likelihood of it. Well, there you have it, Carson. What do you make of that back and forth? Well, I think that is part of the reason we're there. And, of course, al-Qaeda is our primary concern. But as time goes on, you get uh, the Haqqani Network, you get TTP, other terrorist uh, organizations that also pose a danger to us, to Afghanistan, and ultimately to Pakistan. And so that's part of what's at stake here is allowing Afghanistan to develop enough that they can take care of their own security needs. How do you... Uh... How do you ensure that? I mean, at some point we leave, at some point the critical mass of our authority is gone. We could say it takes a couple of years, but eventually we will have so many, so few troops over there. We can't tell them what to do if we ever can. Uh, Karzai or his successor will be calling the shots. How do we stop them from cutting a deal with the Taliban? How do we stop them from creating some kind of a, of a base for al-Qaeda or other terrorist groups? Well, there's no guarantees forever in the future, but on the other hand, al-Qaeda and the Taliban want to replace the government in Afghanistan and, and basically become the governing body again. So it's in their best interest to prevent that from happening. Look, it's, it is a long-term commitment working from the police to the military to the government to reduce corruption, improve their ability to secure each other. There's no guarantees. It's, it's not easy. But on the other hand, the alternative of just walking away and turning it back over to al-Qaeda or some of these other groups that have sprung up, I think, increases the danger. And that seems to be the consensus from today. Let's talk about that gradual pullout beginning next July. I know it's conditions based on the ground and all those arguments. We're going to have to nuance those with the leadership perhaps on the ground of General Petraeus. looks like him. Uh, but I look at the Vietnam example, and I look at what the decision. Kennedy tried to send a signal to ZM by saying we're going to re pull back some troops, so you better get your act together over there. You better start fighting the Reds over there and stop being so lackadaisical and fighting the Buddhists. So get your act together. Well, he read it another way, apparently, ZM, and he started cutting a deal through the French with with the, with the bad guys, with the communists. And maybe that's why we supported the coup against him, which led to his death, obviously. And the question is, will Karzai read this one way or the other? If he knows we're gradually pulling out next July, he may say, you know, i got to cut a deal with the guys coming in, not the ones leaving. Taliban. How do we know our signal to him in saying we're leaving won't strengthen him, it'll weaken him and get him cutting a, a, a separate piece? Well, that's exactly my concern. It's a double-edged sword. I mean, I appreciate the point that you want Kabul to know that we're not going to be there forever. You're going to have to improve your police and security and, and take care of your own internal security. But it's, it's not exactly cars I'm worried about. It's those mid-level bureaucrats, the warlords and so forth, that are just trying to decide which side they come down yeah. on. And if they know that we're going to start this process, however the weasel words they want to use, start the process, you know, conditions-based, all of that. They know that starts in, in a year. I think they're going to hedge their bets. So I worry that this deadline makes it more difficult for Petraeus and the troops to do their mission over the next 12 months. Well, that's our conundrum. We agree on that, sir. Thank you very much, Congressman Mac Thornberry of Texas, a member of the Armed Services Committee. Coming up,